The sky over the front line is rarely silent anymore. Radar beams sweep across the horizon as another wave of threats rises from beyond the tree line. Cruise missiles, drones, and guided munitions cut through the night at high subsonic speeds. On the ground, a crew waits inside a steel container packed with screens, cables, and the quiet hum of targeting computers. Then a tone sounds. One blip on the radar, then two, then three. A Russian cruise missile is inbound. Within seconds, a weapon system that costs a fraction of the incoming projectile begins to spin up. Its barrels rotate, sensors align, and a burst of tungsten-filled airbursts rounds fire into the darkness. A few thousand euros of ammunition unleash a storm of metal. And the million-dollar missile never reaches its target. This is the reality of modern warfare in Ukraine, where Rheinmetall's Skynex air defense system has emerged as one of the most cost-effective counters to low-flying threats. In an era when drone swarms cost hundreds or even tens of euros per unit, but can inflict significant damage, militaries face a new kind of arms race. Not only in technology, but in economics. Cutting-edge missile defenses like Patriot, Iris-T, or NASAMS are capable, but expensive. Using them against mass drones or lower-cost guided weapons risks draining inventories at unsustainable rates. Skynix offers something different. Its ammunition costs roughly $4,000 per engagement, still not cheap, but comparatively minimal next to the hundreds of thousands or millions required for interceptor missiles. That cost advantage is part of what makes the Skynex so strategically important, especially in a conflict where both sides attempt to exhaust each other's air defense capabilities by launching relentless waves of unmanned threats. To understand why the system matters, it helps to look at the broader threat environment. Since the earliest stages of the war, Russia has relied heavily on its arsenal of cruise missiles, calibers, k bar ones and others, to strike deep inside Ukrainian territory. These weapons fly low, sometimes treetop level, following pre-programmed routes that exploit terrain masking to avoid radar detection. They approach silently, at speeds up to 800 or 900 kilometers per hour, relying on stealth shaping, electronic countermeasures, and erratic flight paths to slip past defending systems. For defenders, intercepting even one cruise missile can require multiple radar sites, command networks, and expensive surface-to-air missiles. But Skynex is designed to counter precisely these kinds of threats at the last moment, within a few kilometers of the target, when traditional long-range systems are either unavailable, occupied, or deemed too costly to use. It fits into the lowest tier of a layered defense architecture, long-range missiles at the outer perimeter, medium-range interceptors covering mid-altitude threats, and systems like Skynex providing the final protective dome around critical infrastructure and military sites. At its core, Skynex is built around three major elements. First is the command and control node, running Rheinmetall's SkyMaster system. This is the brain of the network and can integrate radars, optical sensors, and multiple effectors into one unified picture. Second is the radar, commonly the XTAR 3D which provides three-dimensional tracking data out to dozens of kilometers. It detects anything from drones to aircraft to cruise missiles and constantly updates their location, speed, and heading. Third are the effectors, most notably the Erlikon Revolver Gun MK3, a 35 mm cannon fed with programmable A-head ammunition. The A-head round is what makes Skynex uniquely capable. Each shell contains a matrix of tungsten subprojectiles. When fired, the fire control system programs each round while it sits in the chamber. It sets the exact distance at which the shell will detonate, down to the microsecond. When the round reaches that point, it bursts in front of the target, releasing a forward projected cloud of high density metal pellets. Instead of trying to hit a fast moving cruise missile with a single impact, the system creates a curtain of fragmentation directly in the missile's path. At high closing speeds, even small fragments can shred control surfaces, damage sensors, disable engines, or destabilize aerodynamic control, enough to cause the missile to tumble or break apart before reaching its target. This airburst approach dramatically increases the probability of a successful intercept. And because the rounds are comparatively affordable, operators can fire short controlled bursts rather than relying on a single shot, allowing them to saturate the target area without bankrupting their ammunition budget. Ukraine began receiving Skynex systems from Germany in 2023, Initially, only a limited number of batteries were supplied, far fewer than needed to protect an entire country. But even in these small numbers, the system quickly gained attention. 
Videos released by the Ukrainian Air Force showed the turrets tracking and engaging drones with remarkable precision. Later, statements from Rhine Metal and Battlefield reports indicated that the system had been used not only against Shahed type drones, but also against cruise missiles, intercepting them successfully under combat conditions. These reports have drawn wide interest from military analysts. Cruise missiles are notoriously difficult to intercept with guns. Historically, most militaries have relied on missiles for that purpose. But the combination of Skynex's tracking precision, high rate of fire, and programmable fragmentation makes such a feat technically plausible. The missile's speed, while high, is still within the engagement window for a well-positioned Skynex unit. And unlike most drone targets, cruise missiles often follow predictable inbound vectors, especially when approaching a specific military objective. In practice, an interception might unfold like this. The radar detects a fast-moving inbound object. Its signature and speed categorize it as a cruise missile. The SkyMaster network assigns the threat to a nearby gun module. As the missile approaches, the turret's own electro-optical sensors refine the track, providing a clearer targeting picture. The computer calculates the optimal detonation points in fractions of a second. Then, once the missile enters the effective engagement range, roughly 4 kilometers, the cannon opens fire, sending a tight burst of ahead rounds into the predicted intercept volume. As the rounds detonate, the missile passes through the fragmentation cloud, suffering critical damage. Even if it remains partially intact, the loss of control surfaces or internal components usually causes it to plummet before reaching its target. Of course, gun-based systems have limitations. Their range is short, meaning they provide protection only within a relatively small bubble. They cannot replace long-range missile defenses. And while Skynex can damage or destroy subsonic cruise missiles, highly maneuverable or supersonic weapons could present more challenging engagement scenarios. Ammunition supply is another factor. A, A head rounds are specialized and must be manufactured in sufficient quantities to sustain prolonged operations. But the strengths of the system are significant. It is modular, meaning new effectors like short-range missiles or even high-energy lasers can be integrated into the same network. It is highly automated, requiring minimal crew input during engagements. It is mobile when mounted on vehicles like the Sky Ranger 30 turret, offering protection for advancing units rather than only fixed sites. And most importantly, it is economically sustainable. In a conflict where one side may attempt to overwhelm air defenses with dozens of cheap aerial threats, being able to intercept each threat for a few thousand euros rather than hundreds of thousands can determine whether a city stays protected or becomes vulnerable. This shift toward cost-effective air defense is not unique to Ukraine. Around the world, militaries are reassessing their strategies as drones and cruise missiles become more accessible to both state and non-state actors. Nations from Europe to the Middle East are evaluating how systems like Skynex fit into their plans. Italy has already selected the system, and several other countries have expressed interest. As future variants incorporate more advanced automation, missiles, and directed energy weapons, Skynex could form the foundation of next-generation, short-range air defense networks. There is also the matter of the claim that Skynex destroyed a million-dollar cruise missile. The cost of Russian missiles varies depending on the type, production lot, and estimate, but many modern cruise missiles do indeed fall into the category of high six or seven figures. When contrasted with a few thousand euros of ammunition, the cost ratio becomes stark. While not every detail of every reported intercept can be independently verified, the technical capability is sound, and the statements from Rheinmetall suggest that cruise missile interceptions have occurred during the system's deployment in Ukraine. In practical terms, the claim highlights a broader truth. Cost-effective layered defense is not just desirable, but necessary. Nations cannot afford to fire multi-million euro missiles at every threat. They need systems like Skynex that can handle large volumes of low-flying threats without exhausting resources. As the war continues, scenes like the one that opened this video play out again and again across Ukraine. Radar operators track incoming threats. Automated turrets swing into action. Airburst rounds detonate with surgical precision. And sometimes, a weapon that costs the price of a small home is stopped by a burst of tungsten pellets fired for just a few thousand euros. The future of air defense is not just about range or power. It's about sustainability, integration, and adaptability. Skynex is proving that a modern battlefield doesn't always require the most expensive solution. Sometimes it requires the smartest one. Thank you for watching. 
If you found this analysis informative and appreciate fact-based, neutral breakdowns of modern military technology, consider liking and subscribing. Your engagement helps support thoughtful, in-depth coverage. Stay safe, stay informed, and see you in the next video.